welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Demons Rise, Lords of Chaos. It is by Wave Light Games and it released on April 24th, 2018. I have no idea anything about this game. It was sent to me by Liven, one of my patrons and just people that show up to my stream. And Good person. Good guy. I like him. So, shout out to you, buddy. Thanks for sending this my way. I'm going to check it out right here in front of the world. It definitely looks like it's something right up my alley, and there's going to be another one releasing, I think, in a couple of days, which is weird. I don't know if this is a port of a game or what it is exactly, so we're going to hop in and see. Together, we're going to experience it all. I may have to tweak the sound settings a little bit here and there, so we'll, we'll see. Alright, select a slot to save your game. Creating a new save game may take a long time. I doubt that. Oh my gosh, that took forever! No, it's, it's fine. Alright, so we're going to load up a new game. Now, this is a tactical turn-based strategy game. That's about as much as I do know. And apparently there are a lot of character choices. And... I don't know. It's got a lot of good reviews. And then some that just seem really overly dumb. But I, I don't know. We'll see. A couple of negative ones that just... There's no real reason for them to be negative. It's just... You know how people are. Alright, so we have hit points and action points. And then there's a big, large list of... Words here describing stuff. Do we know much about? There's a stats button. Oh, that's cool. So we have hit, melee, armor chance, mobility, courage, intimidation, and then there's abilities. Soul Stealer. The shamaness uses her magic to sap the energy from her foes. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Well... I could spend a giant chunk of time just figuring out what everybody does, because I think there's something like 60 or 20? There's like 20 classes, and I think we get to choose 6 of the 20. And as much as I would like to go through and read all of these, I don't want the first 5 episodes of this series to be me trying to figure out what each class does. So I'm going to have to make an executive decision to just randomly throw together a haphazard grouping of people and see if it works. Sounds like a recipe for disaster or success, depending on how you look at it. There's a fat guy here. Oh boy. He is a feral ogre. He is Varg the Bone Chewer, and he has a lot of HP and 12 action points. Yeah, I think Varg is definitely going to be on our to do list. Maybe not our primary person or our first guy. Out. What are you? You are a stone troll. Ooh, you got a shield. Oh yeah, okay, so we're going to start with him. Alright, so Varg is a... Oh, do we... Okay, so he's chosen now. So we have this guy. Oh, well, at least I thought we had him. Oh, oh, we can choose the same guy six times? How do I undo that? Can I... Oh, I can remove... Okay. So he's there. Okay, that's cool. So I think I'm going to go with... With Garn, the werebear. We go with the big old ogre guy. So that's three kind of beefy, strong, front line, hopefully a couple high damage hitting people here. Let me quickly take a look around. This guy seems like he's probably fairly well defensive. We kind of have a defensive person. This guy looks like he's a crazy blood shaman. Hmm. That's. no. No. He's got a gun. Eh. A void walker. Eh. Yeah, why not a huntress? That, that's fine. It's like an archer. I can, I can live with that. Black orc. We already have the, the kind of melee murder. A shadow ghoul. He's he's kind of naked. A squ it's Cthulhu! How, how could we not want Cthulhu on our team? He, he's joining us. Alright, I'd probably be a good idea to get a healer as well. I, I don't know. Uh, a vampire knight. That would sound impressive. A blade dancer. Less impressive. A snakeman rogue. Meh. Cataphract. Nah. Do you heal? Death knight. <laughs> it's a skeleton knight. It's great. The succubus. Drawing gifts, lineage. Uh, we already have you. And a soul eater. 
That doesn't sound great. Do you actually heal? Uh, I guess we're going to roll with her. She might be a healer. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. We're just going to have fun with it, guys and gals. Can be a complete and total disaster. I will actually take some time on my own to go look through if this does start to fall apart quickly. We'll see. The Demon Prince Morkarn has brought the kingdoms of the north to their knees. His army of demons, beastmen, and tribesmen have cut a swath through the lands of men, dwarves, and elves. You and your warband have been at the head of every battle, bringing fear and death to the civilized realms in his name. Now, only the barony of uh, Elderwood, sure stands against you. Their baron, Aiden the Proud, has foolishly marched his armies out to face you. Morkarn has given you the honor of crushing this final northern kingdom. Okay. I can probably do that. Or die horribly and not do that. Hey, we're on a thing. Okay, cool. So we can buy supplies, we can manage team. Do we have any money to buy supplies with? Introduction. You summon uh, Skarakel or Skarakrel, a minor demon bound to you. This should be bigger. It has a strange love for gold and in return will provide trinkets, weapons, and armor that it has stolen from across the realms. Okay. I'll buy equipment. We have no money, so not going to buy equipment. Cheap items. Well, it does say we have 1,500 gold. Okay, maybe we can buy some cheap items. There's no... There's no discernible... Oh, that is... that That's not... Great. They could have done better with the... Like, with the positioning of all this. Alright, so our stone troll needs a shield. So I guess I'm going to get that, even though I can't actually see... It's a level 44 shield. Can he use that? I, I don't... Ah, hmm. oh, there it is. Look at that. Again, this could, this could all be slightly bigger. Oh, that's, that's really... Oh, I can't afford that at all. Never mind. These are cheap items, huh? Ah, here's some level 1 stuff. Okay. Level 43. Is everything level 43 or something? That's a level 3 shield. A square shield used by high-ranking goblin warriors. There's, like, this should be ordered in a better way, like... Like, lowest to highest or something. Like, this is really strange. Um, level 22 weapon. Level 46. Level 24. Level 13 dual weapon. Level 30. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not loving this at all, if I'm being honest. Like, I feel like this is definitely not the ideal situation. Level 1 armor, I mean... Does it even do anything? It doesn't look like it does. Okay, well... I, I apologize, I know this isn't going to be the most exciting thing in the world. You'd think there'd be a way of, like, sorting by a level or something. A level 11 throwing knife. Fish arrows. Level 19 bow. I mean, this is crazy. Level 19 bracers. Thick leather gloves that offer a small measure of protection. Well, you know what, we're just going to finalize the sale, I guess, and I have no idea what's happening. We'll, we'll figure it out. We're going to end the bartering. I'm not impressed with that yet. But again, I don't know. I haven't seen the game. I don't know how it all works out, so I guess we're going to go with the campaign. 
Aiden the Proud Baron marches army out to face us. Destroy single game difficulty. I don't know what any of this means. Okay. You approach Morkarn as he stands among his horde of demons, tribesmen, and beastmen. He seems to be in some kind of trance and does not seem to see you. Suddenly his eyes light up with strange eldritch fire, and he looks at you directly. My champions have arrived. You will lead the assault on the human army. Slaughter their warriors, crush their morale, and bring me the heads of their champions. With those words, you move to the front of the army and march out against the humans. Okay. I mean, I'm game. Let's do it. Your warband takes your place... Your warband takes its place at the head of Morkarn's army. Advances toward the enemy. And advances toward the enemy. You are met with a meager detachment of Aldian soldiers. Sure. <laughs> Uh, what? Okay, so we got our big bad boy here. He can move. What is this? Uh, okay. That's inventory. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. And none of these things seem to have a pop-up. Well, I could say that, you know, with a fair amount of certainty, they could be a little bit more... I don't know, open with how things work. I think we can just swap characters at this point. No? I guess we move everybody out at this point. Okay. Well, if that's the case... Then I'm going to move out over here. I'll move out over here. Should move here. Should move there. Put you over here. And you there. Nope. Okay. We're going to end the turn. We'll see what they do. Oh, yeah, I confirm it. What if anybody had any ranged attacks they could have utilized? Well, you missed. That's a good sign. He's going to shoot somebody with a bow. Unpleasant, to be sure. Ha! Ah. Okay. So I feel like we're doing okay right now. Do we... Are the, what, is, what is that? Shows health bars. What is this? Divine Blessing. Cost favor. We can invoke blessings. Does that have a... What is this? Blessings are granted by the gods to those that carry their favor. The effects last only for this battle, and it applies to all party members. Favor is granted when you kill enemy leaders or many enemies in a single turn. Fair enough. Summon Void Dragon? Why can't I do that? Hunting Provision. The Huntress uses specially prepared meat from a previous kill to replenish herself and allies. For two turns, the Huntress and all adjacent friendly units recovers HP. Let me used three times per battle. I don't know how any of this works. This is all very confusing. Oh, it's none of those are. Oh, so those are all of our skills down there, but none of them have graphics. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, that's for allies to join the hunt filled with primal energy. I think I'm just gonna attack. Hey! Ah! Yay, we did a small amount of damage. Can we do more than just a small amount of no? Can I, can I cast like this? Nope. Well, we have six action points. Okay. And how many action points does it take to attack? That's fine. Alright. Next up. The big cheese himself. We got stone flesh. Uh, titanic strength to strike the ground, causing a shower of stones and debris to explode in all directions. Fills its lungs with air and then lets out a thunderous shout that cripples its foe in fear. Lose 50 points of courage and two counterattacks. 
Oh, that sounds cool. Oh, I don't have enough action points for that. I need 26 AP and I only have 6. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna smack you with a big old giant club. Counterattack all you want, fool. I don't care. Alright, big dog. What are you gonna do? Oh, they're okay, so these are ones that... Okay, so they're not available until we have the action points for it. Ah, that makes sense then. Allows its primal nature to take over its mind and becomes a vicious feral animal, but at the cost of what remains of its soul and life force. Needs extra attack and increases attack damage by... I don't feel like that's necessary. Ah, Hulk smash! Okay, it's cool. It's cool. Alright. I said good day with my Cthulhu face. And now I'm going to retreat like scared little octopus girl. I mean, I'm not a scared little octopus girl, but you would never know it, by golly. <laughs> Cast spells of doom and gloom, or, or miss. Maybe this is the action point pool. Oh, that's how many attacks that you may make each turn. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I.e. get wrecked, fool. Okay, big man. Come on down. And Hulk smash. Oh, man. He really, really Hulk smashed him. Can we loot these things, or how does that work? Like, I am okay with most of the things that are going down right now. I wonder how much this will get us. Got a skill potion. I wonder how much this will get us. Times two. Okay, what about you, Cthulhu man? Okay, confirming. It's interesting. It's a little rough around the edges, for sure. But it's it's not bad. I like it. I feel like our, our crew is going to be okay. We're going to be able to handle business and get stuff done. So I'm happy about that. Big old backhanded slap there. Oh yeah, you're absolutely dead. And it looks like I can throw a rock. Oh, or, or not. Or not throw a rock. Also an option. What's this do? Bone storm. Fear the bone storm, oh. dearie. Launch your attack. Do it again. I guess just come over here. That's the morale. Down you go. Yeah, we did it. We are heroes. Look at us. Look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. He's not cute. Oh, we can rotate the camera. That's cool. Where's our squid faced guy? There he is. What are you doing? Don't look at me. I will get ink on you. Oh, collect gold and leave area. Okay, so that's what we gotta do. Okay. Uh, what else? Oh, I can just... Oh, I just hit the button and that's fine. Victory! You cut down the soldiers with contemptuous ease and continue your assault. Alright, now it looks like we get to see the breakdown. Again, this could be bigger. Hopefully the developers see this and they maybe just increase the size. So, we, like, these are fine. You can kind of tell that that's our, our first guy, our shield. I don't remember what he was now. Uh, Stone Troll, maybe. Now, this is the big fat dude. This is the Cthulhu guy. I, I don't know what these things mean. But there's a lot of lacking tool tips here. And it's strange. There's our big uh, polar bear guy. Eh, our archer chick and then our shaman. 
Research of the room reveals 600 gold and a handful of items you could either use or sell. Move any you wish to keep in your inventory. Eh, okay, well, we'll put that on maybe you. Our courage went up. Is there any other? No? Continue on. Lord Aiden's army has secured both both banks of the river and has begun to fortify its position. Morkarn orders you to lead the assault and smash the enemy vanguard. Whatever you say, this looks actually somewhat menacing this time around, so I don't know how this is going to go. One can only hope well. Alright, big man, get some stuff done. Let's get over here and cast some spelly spells. Handle in business. Get behind there. It's defensive. Okay. All right, Squid McJones. You missed. You are a failure, and nobody likes you. Just saying. I'm just saying. I don't like to call anybody out, but nobody likes you. You're adopted. That's, that's, that's fine. If you're adopted. I'm, I'm kidding. It, it's joke. It's joke. Ah, ah, ah. It's fine. All right, big man. Get on moving. I am so glad you're wearing underwear. Just saying. Oh, the archer fires, and very, very, very small amounts of damage. Ah, you missed. Oh, I don't get a counterattack? Oh, why? There's a potion there. I don't even know what that does. I'm going to get it. Oh, boy. You going to shoot the big guy? Really? That was your plan? I mean, I'm not really, yeah. If I saw his backside, I would panic a little bit, too. I'm not going to lie. I feel like you're making the right choice. Alright, gonna waddle on in here and be all like, what's going on? Bam! <clears throat> that was actually kind of underwhelming. Not gonna lie. Well, that's unfortunate. <clears throat> and he counterattacked. Well, we just got rickrolled there. That was unfortunate. <clears throat> hey, we landed an attack. I know. Shocking to be sure. I'm just going here and steal the potion, and I'm probably going to not do that. I just do this. <laughs> yeah, you like that, did you? <laughs> Don't worry, I will leech some, maple, maybe some health. No, no, no health. Okay, I'll just kill you. <laughs> I'll miss. You're fine. Don't even worry about it. All right, kill the terrified <laughs> guy. I guess next up I can throw a rock. Uh. Okay. I'm going to go point blank. Let's see if this is a bad idea. It was a bad idea because we swung. We should have been at least one away and attacked. It's alright. No worries. Lesson learned. I doubt anyone will go down here, but maybe. Yeah. Shoot. I was wrong. Like, maybe she'll get hurt, but I don't think they're going to have enough to kill her. Then he just one-shots her, <laughs> drops her completely like she doesn't even matter. I don't like the fact that there's no, like, attacks of opportunity. I also do like that because I hate getting attack of opportunity So It's nice to not have to worry about that, but at the same time, the enemy can just walk around and do whatever they want. <laughs> so when I play bold like I did, I suffer for it. It's, it's not a great thing. Well, gotta say I'm very unimpressed. Ooh. How all that went down. Fire Ooh. arrow! Attack! <sighs> that was quite underwhelming, not gonna lie. <sighs> Can you kill him? What's this do? Stone flesh. Please 
drop him. Yay, if you did it the first time, none of this would ever have happened, man. You, you failed me. You failed me. A, a dotage potion. I wonder if we automatically get that or what. Kill him. Mm. Well, there's gold laying on the ground. I guess that's a thing. Alright. Fire an arrow at the big giant guy, missing again somehow magically because of logic. It's fine. It's the size of a house. How do you miss that shot? You just got wrecked by a summoned unit. Nerd. Alright, let's get on over here and crush Hulk Smash this guy. He's down, and I think it's time we do the same thing again. Not sure I can reach. Oh. Oh, but I can pick up a rock and throw it. Okay, so that's how that works. Cool. Okay, well, that's, that's that. I'm gonna actually run around. Can we do anything to bring her back? Or is she just, like, donezo? I feel like she's just like done. Like nothing left that can be done with her. Are there any potions we left laying around or what? No. And will you like come back after that? I feel like the answer is no. Oh, we're gonna snag up this potion. I wanna see if they're only usable like in combat. Do we get like bonus things for getting them? Will my health go back up? It does, so it looks like it's an immediate use thing. Alright, cool. Or not. I mean, might not be cool. Sorry about that, folks. You crush the Alderwood Army's vanguard smile as a few survivors flee before you. And she's not doing so well on the whole experience gaining thing. We got ourselves some bracers. Improved Necromancer's bracers. Etched with necromantic ruins. Sounds like the perfect thing for our Tenaclid Overmind. Yes. I don't know if he gained anything from it, but that's okay. We're going to continue on. Will she still be there? Only time will tell. The defeat of the enemy vanguard caused widespread panic among Lord Aiden's army. Cohesion among the portion of the army on the near bank of the river has collapsed, allowing Morkarn's army to slaughter at will. The only resistance is at... Tarn's Bridge. You see a handful of soldiers holding their ground, and among them, some sorcerers have erected a magical waystone to focus their power. You decide to attack this position and take the bridge. Standing adjacent to the waystone grants extra life and action points. Interesting. And it does indeed look like she has recovered from her previous failure. Well, I'm okay with that, but... I believe this is probably going to be where we break off the episode. I don't know how far we're going to go into this. I may just play a few scenarios. I may try playing through the entire campaign. I don't know how long the game is, but it does look like there's replayable missions. And it's simplistic, but it's not bad. I mean, I, I like it. I think it's going to be fun. It's one of those things where you can play just a little bit at a time and enjoy. Or you can sit down and play for a big chunk of time and still have fun. Some games, you know, you have to go and commit a whole massive chunk of time. To go and do something and then when you get done you're like oh oh i did it it might be great it might be rewarding you might have had a blast doing it but there's a lot you know a lot goes into that whereas here like i said you can play like one or two quick skirmishes or little battles and then be done with it or you can go for that marathon session totally up to you anyway once again the game is called a demons arise lords of chaos by wavelight games released on april 24th 2018 I hadn't heard anything about this. It was sent to me by Liven. Thank you again, buddy. I appreciate it. And yeah, I'm going to have some fun with this. Hopefully you guys enjoy the uh, showcasing and uh, maybe pick it up and teach me some stuff because there's a lot of information here and I'm having to gloss over a bunch of it just to kind of get some gameplay and everything else out here. Like my team might be the worst team ever assembled in the history of mankind. I don't know. But leave your thoughts down below. Let me know your, your thoughts on the game. If you played it, if you have the game yourself, is there a better combination? Um, tell me what some of these other things are all about. I'm like, I'm curious. I'm definitely curious. So any information you can give me to help me out, I would definitely appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. There's tons of other turn-based tactical strategy games and various other things on the channel that you can find, enjoy, and love. And thanks for watching, guys and gals. Until the very next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. 
Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs> <laughs>